nature at which all these things had to get in the same place in the first time. Okay, but anyway, you have so miraculously all the pieces at least show up in the right place. Okay. Uh, okay. You know that's a stretch in and of itself. Sure. But then all the pieces start to properly line themselves up, and two by four A lines up with two by four B. And the nails. And the nails come along and drive themselves in. Right. And everything that was in between A and B got out of the way. Sure. Okay. And the right nail and the right length found the right spot and held them together. Of course, it's zero chance of that. It's, a, it's an absolute zero chance. Yeah. And then one board after another following that, that process, and then the screws and the wiring and the plumbing and all those things that go into building a house just accidentally on their own lining themselves up and building a house. Okay. That's what morphogenesis is. Okay, and I mean, you know, I, once again, I don't know how many billions of years. It would never happen. But it just couldn't happen. But see, in their mind, they somehow think, well, if you give it enough time, it might happen. Yeah. So wait a minute, time's not going to help. No, you know, if you leave that pile of building material on that vacant lot for an extended period of time, it's not going to build a house. They'll it's, rot. It's going to rot. It's yeah. going to turn back into the dirt that it came from. Oh, because here we have the human body, and people are concerned about their health. How do I be healthy? Step one is you need to understand how God originally designed it yeah. and then find out are we following his plan, are we obeying his orders, doing mm -hmm. what he said. Mm -hmm. If we're not, fix that. Right. Because I think an awful lot of people have diseases, a lot of Christians mm -hmm. get diseases or various problems and they pray and say, God help me, God please fix this. They don't realize God's already given us the commands in the scriptures right. to tell us and we're just simply not obeying. Right. Yeah. Part of that is that is the, is the schemes of Satan He's, he's blinded us to right. that. You know, he's, he's taken the knowledge we have of atoms and molecules and he's perverted it into the principles and the theories of evolution. Right. You know, uh, okay, I mean, the Lord revealed, all knowledge that we have is revealed to us from God. He, he is the source of all intelligence in the universe. What we know, we know because he's given us and right. revealed it to us. Okay, uh, so, so, you know, faith, I, I've come up with some definitions to kind of explain this. Faith is believing in things not yet proven that you know to be true. Okay. Okay, knowledge is is information gained to support truth. And knowledge bi base builds. Builds knowledge builds. Science is a means by gathering knowledge. Okay, logic is the interpretation of the knowledge to draw conclusions. Okay. Okay. Well, we're in the process of we've gotten we, the Lord's revealed lots of knowledge to us. Okay, we have scientific procedures that allow us to verify things as true. Sure. Okay, but at the end of all that scientific knowledge, there's always an amount of faith, okay, that we have to tack on the end of it. Right. Okay, I can't, as you've said yourself, we can't scientifically prove, okay, creation mm -hmm. because we weren't there and we can't repeat it. Right. Not okay. observable. It's not observable. That's the same thing for evolution. Sure. Okay, now we can look at lots of things now and draw conclusions from them. Okay, and you know anybody that objectively weighs the evidence will conclude that evolution is a farce. It just it just can't happen. Okay, so that is you know the evolution thing is just Satan perverting our perceptive perception of, of the knowledge that's been revealed right. to us. Okay, um, we have to we have to understand why God made us. We have to understand how He made us and how His creation works. Once we understand how His creation is working. Okay, then we can do the things that are necessary to help maintain and take care of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just like you wouldn't know how to take care of your car or your computer if you didn't read the manual. Sure. Uh, okay, well, first off, we have a manual. It's called the Bible. Right. Uh, okay, and, and there's lots of good, solid scientific information in the Bible about our body right. and how it works. We have to keep the body balanced. Okay, we talked about the mental aspect, the chemical aspect, and then there's a third portion, and that's the body. Okay, the physical existence. Okay, take a few minutes and just, if you had to break the body into a few, ma few basic systems, explain what do we have, how does it work? Okay, well, the first system I'd, I'd have to start with is the nervous system. Okay. Okay, uh, the nervous system, as I said, is responsible for controlling and coordinating all the structures and all the functions of the human body, either directly or indirectly. Okay. Okay. We've all got a head. We've all got a head. Weighs 13 to 15 pounds, the average adult head. The brain weighs 3 to 5 pounds. 3 to 5 pounds. Okay. That brain controls everything. Yes. But it has to get the message to the body. Yes. Which comes through the spinal column. It comes through the spinal column. 97% of the nerves that control our body come out in between the bones of the spine. They exit the skull, 
okay, and travel down through the spinal cord, exiting through the spinal, in between the spinal vertebra. Okay. Okay. So God designed the body with the central head, just like Christ is the head of the church. Christ is the head of the church. And we're all supposed to be lined up with him. That's right. And sometimes we get out of line. Yes, we do. And yeah. problems come in. Uh, yes. You know, anytime you lose the alignment, okay, when you're, when you're improperly tapped into the source, okay, spiritually with Christ right. as the head of the church, also as the head of the body. Everything starts in the head. It comes down through the, from the head, down through the body, out to the parts, causing the parts to grow according to the way Christ would have them grow. Okay? We know embryologically in the developing, in the developing baby, okay, if we sever a nerve, whatever that nerve was controlling will not develop. So you could cut the nerve to the lung? And, and the lungs would never form. Okay. Okay. Uh, everybody knows in an adult that if you sustain a spinal trauma, and you sever the spinal cord in, in the lower back, okay, you lose function of the legs. Right. And over time, the legs atrophy. Sure. Uh, okay, because they, they have no neurological source directing their activity. Okay. Our body makes about 50,000 new cells every 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, okay. Traveling in our brain stem are 100 million nerve impulses per second. Okay. Information coming from the body up to the brain, brain interpreting that information, and then sending a response back down. Okay. Doesn't it also filter out, decide what's important? Oh, absolutely. It's got an amazing filtering system. Uh, okay, technically our nervous system is so fine-tuned that it is perceiving the fly that's bouncing off the window in the front of the building. Okay, it's picking up that sound wave, okay, bringing it in, but it's throwing it out as unnecess unnecessary information. Right. Okay, don't bother me with that right now. For I'm right now, I was not thinking about my right foot, mm -hmm. but if I stopped and thought about it, I could... I could tell you without looking where, what position it's in, you know, what pressure points it has. Exactly. Constant communication. All the bodily <coughs> parts, all the body parts, okay, are constantly feeding information up into the brain, telling the brain where the body's at. Right. Just a simple little process of coming up and scratching our nose. Sure. Uh, okay, very complex neurological process. Oh, get a robot to do that. It's uh, incredible. It's incredible. Uh, okay. It, it starts with a conscious thing, I want to scratch my nose. Right. Uh, okay, and I start moving my finger toward the nose. But as I'm moving my arm, Okay, I've got nerve endings in, in the joints and the muscles of my arms firing information back into my brain, telling my brain how I'm doing. Uh, okay, and it starts making corrections. Otherwise, I end up with the finger in the eye. It's coordination. It's a coordination process. Okay, uh, so, you know, we have different parts of the brain responsible for different parts of the job. Okay, the Bible says that every part has a job. Sure. Uh, okay, and, and you can't make another part do a different part's job. Yeah, I can't do the job of the ear. Yeah, I can't do the job of the ear. Okay, so the nervous system by far is the primary system of importance in the human body. As a matter of fact, all the other systems we have are actually supportive to the nervous system. Our nervous system will shut down all the other parts and deprive them of anything they need in order to preserve itself. Okay. Okay, you see, it's our nervous system that gives us our identity. It is our nervous system that makes us consciously aware of our Creator. Uh, okay, I mean, it is the primary purpose. Okay, the musculoskeletal system, which comprises 60% of our body, that's the muscles and the bones. Right. Okay, body mass is it, equivalent to about 60%. Okay, the primary function of the musculoskeletal system is first to provide protection to the nervous system, okay, and then to provide mobility to the nervous system. See, if you were just a nervous system and the rock was falling off the cliff, you couldn't move. You couldn't move to get out of the way. Okay, so the Lord gave us a musculoskeletal system to get us out of the way of the falling rock. And everything else feeds information to this system. Everything. The eyes tell us what we're looking at. The ears, what we're hearing. Right. Yeah, exactly. Matter of fact, our brain. We have ref we have centers in our brain that directly tie our eyes to our neck. That's the only function of that piece of brain, and it's de it's designed to get us out of the way of the baseball. With, jerking with, the ball. With, without, without thinking. Sure. Okay, that's occurring without, without conscious awareness. Now, as I'm happening in it, and the ball's already passed me, I'm going, Phew, that was close. Right. Uh, okay, but that was a neurological reflex that took place simply from the eyes to this one brain center, okay, and then right down to the neck, muscles of the neck to make mm -hmm. us do that. We have an, a similar system for auditory response. Okay, we hear a loud bang, we're doing that. Okay, and or you a, step on a nail. Or you step on a nail. Like jerks. Like, like jerks. Okay, those occur at spinal cord levels, but <coughs> at the same time, they're also sending information back up to the brain, okay, so that the brain is constantly aware of where that foot is. Mm -hmm. I've used the, when I taught anatomy and physiology, I uh, 
use the, uh, the example of putting your, your hand on a hot plate. Right. Okay, you put your hand on a hot plate, and you're going to reflex right back off. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that part of the reflex is actually simply spinal cord. Okay, it goes into the spinal cord and right back out. Now, as it goes in, and as it's sending one message back out to pull the arm off, it's also sending a message up to the head saying, I'm pulling my arm off. That was hot. Don't me, don't do it again. Right. Uh, okay. And at the same time, it's sending a message to our cerebellum so that when I jerk that hand back, I don't end up slapping myself in the head, causing another injury. Okay, because that's just a reflex. Okay. Uh, okay, so that, that neurological center, our brain, is controlling, is controlling the memory of it's hot. Uh, okay, right. don't do that again, dummy. Right. Uh, okay, and it's also saying, hey, on your way back, don't hit yourself in the head. All like that? All on uh, you know, nanoseconds. Okay, so you got 206 bones in the human adult Two, body. 206 bones in the human adult body and, and over 600 muscles in the human adult body. And they are all interconnected. <clears throat> Okay. It's quite Every, a wiring system. It, yeah, it's quite a wiring system. Okay. <laughs> they are they are interconnected neurologically, uh, okay, through the mechanisms I've just kind of talked about right. briefly. But they're also interconnected biomechanically. Okay, we're a giant system of levers and pulleys. And any time you move one set of muscles and joints, you're causing a series of chain biomechanical chain reactions that's influencing the muscular tension and the joint position throughout the rest of the system. Okay? Okay. Uh, that's the balancing and the and the uh the uh, antagonistic kind of responses, okay, to our uh, to our actions. Okay. And that just that system can be studied for a lifetime. But just to, to give people a general perspe pers uh, perspective here, you got 206 bones, 600 or so muscles, mm -hmm. all connected. Now those bones and muscles and nerves, etc., they need something to function. They need proper fuel. They need absolutely, which is what the whole nutrition and health yeah. is all about. That's the other part of your seven sermon. But, the, uh, but polar bear, bumblebee, and, and healthcare. Healthcare. And healthcare. How do you take care of this body? I got this complex body. I was born. I didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. Everything I know about it now, I've learned, and there's mm -hmm. probably a lot more to learn. Mm -hmm. If you had to explain to somebody, what what basic principles do you do as far as taking care of your body? Well, keeping in mind that the, our objective is keeping the body balanced the way God intended it. Right. Uh, okay. Man was not meant to mend his body. He was meant to take care of it. Health and healing comes from above. Okay. Uh, okay. And more times than not, what we need to do is instead of intervening, trying to make his creation better, trying to correct his mistakes. Okay. Our creator didn't make mistakes. Right. It was a perfect creation, a perfect body. Okay. And what we have wrong with it now is a result of this world's perversion of that body and not his creation mistakes. Okay. okay? Most of our health care is geared towards making it better. Uh, okay, well, you know, you've got this symptom. Let's give you a drug that will make the opposite happen. Uh, okay, uh, you know, if you've got a part that's not working right, let's just take the part out. Uh, okay, we've got machines that will do that job for you, or, heck, it's an extra part. You don't need it anyhow. Uh, right. uh, okay. Back to evolutionary philosophy. Back, back to the evolutionary philosophies again. What we are supposed to do is keep the body balanced the way God intended it. We are supposed to take care of the musculoskeletal system. It is 60% of our body. Okay, uh, Roger Sperry, um, a very intelligent individual, uh, won a Nobel Prize back in the early 90s for his work in brain research. He is a neurophysiologist. Okay. Okay. Dr. Sperry said a couple of very interesting things. He said, first off, that 90% uh, that of our neurological mental activity okay, is actually geared towards maintaining the musculoskeletal system. Okay, so 90% of the activity our brain goes through, okay, is, is it's doing so in order to keep the bones, the muscles, and the joints in their proper interrelationship. Automatically moving when you get uncomfortable. Automatically moving when you get uncomfortable, uh, you know, contracting muscles for respiratory purposes. Heart uh, beating. Heart beating, all those sorts. Of, well, not so much heart beating. That falls into cardiovascular. Okay. okay? But, but musculoskeletal maintenance, okay, is what 90% of our activity is.